Hey everyone, welcome back to our beautiful dairy farm here in Gregor, Iowa. Uh, this will be our second episode on the farm. I just come from town, had to run some errands out there. Um, we actually have to plant some winter wheat um, in a couple of our fields here. So we're going to get the planter. We already have it. Uh, should be ready to go. It should be full of seeds. Um, we're going to go get the tractor and planter, hook up to that, and plant some wheat. We need to have, oh, at least a couple squall, small squares for the cows that we're going to be getting in here. Hopefully, June, July, maybe, even September. Um, we have some round bales, but we need some small squares. Um, so we are going to get that done, plant that wheat today so we can harvest that. Um, we should be able to... Yeah, we're going to plant it in October. It's the first week of October right now, so should be able to get that done. So we hit, we just need small squares, so we don't need a whole lot. We are going to plant, um, this is the farm here. We're going to plant four and five. These are the two that we're going to plant, so nothing too crazy. Um, but we're going to leave these for corn. Um, I own a couple fields. Um... This will probably be corn, corn here, soybeans, and then this will be corn silage, and then this will be probably corn silage. Not all of it, but most of it, because um, we're going to need a lot of silage. We're going to end up having quite a few cows, um, just because the dairy operation here, I mean, you can handle it. There's two big, big old barns, so. Oh, what tractor do we want to use? That's the question. Hmm. Both are very nice. Kind of like that American flag on that combine. That is beautiful. I think we're going to take this out. I think we are. Normally I use this tractor to plant and I got to clean that. But um, I think today we're going to take this AR out. So let's hop in there. Let's get her going. We're going to make this. It's just going to be a quick video. Nothing crazy. Just kind of want to show you guys some stuff. I'm not going to show you everything. Um... I played earlier this week and I hauled some oats to town. I did not record that just because I thought it was, you know, some people don't like seeing that. But planting I thought would be kind of cool. We'll do a lot more of that. We have a different planter. Um, you're going to see a lot more of that and some other cool stuff. A lot planned, but I'm just kind of getting into it right now. So right now we have our wheat in here. I filled this up here last week. So we have our wheat. Um, we are ready to go. We're going to head to the fields. It shouldn't take long to plant. Um, we plowed the fields as well last week. Um, we harvested oats off them when I first purchased this farm. So we end up plowing them. And they are ready to go. Look at that. Rolling some coal. It's pretty cool. But yeah, so we're not going to be needing this cedar trailer just because we're not going to use much seeds. It might drop down to 70% in our tank. But... We're not going to be needing a whole lot. Turn our hazards on. Uh, let's see. We're going to take a left here. Hopefully not hit this sign. It's always a yeah, road closed. There we go. We'll plant this top one first. Um, and then we'll come down and hit this one. It won't take long to plant it. So. But, yeah. So... Definitely excited. I got a mic. Um, finally got that yesterday. I set that up. I've been playing with the settings, so I apologize if it's echoing or if something ain't right. I've been messing with it. I spent a couple hours last night, but I just get frustrated. So, all right, let's unfold the planter and let's get this done. I'm just gonna go around once, do basically a headland pass, um, and then go up and down it's not going to be perfect it's not going to it's just a couple small fields um all right lower it turn our vacuum on let's get that going our rpms are up we got dust that means we are working suppose i don't need my flashers on oh i love the way this tractor looks got the big duels on the front duels on the back Plenty of power. 
although they're struggling to get up this little hill, okay. Beautiful water there. Well, it looks a little dirty, but scenery's pretty cool. There we go. That first knob. I like doing in cab views. I don't know about you guys, but um, I th always think that's more realistic to me. Um, you know, anytime outside of this, you know, when I've harvested or basically drove a tractor, um, it's more realistic to me. I mean, it's nice that this view here, but you can see everything a lot better. It looks cool, but in cab has always been my thing. Um, and we are going to get familiar with course play as well. I got that on my uh, mods. Um, we are going to get playing with that, around with that one. We get to maybe uh, some bigger planting like that field there. Um, we're going to get familiar with it. But with these small fields here, we're just going to do it ourselves and freehand it basically. Overlap a little bit and not be perfect with it, but good enough to get wheat in the ground and get that growing so yeah looking forward to recording a lot more um, trying to just decide what I want to record what I don't want to record um, like I said I hauled some grain in uh, or hauled some oats in and uh, didn't record that I picked up some liquid fertilizer on the last episode that I recorded um, I thought that was pretty cool Especially with the Kenworth trucks that I'm driving in this farm. They're pretty freaking decked out. I love them. Um, I got two of them and then I have a just a basically a stock truck, but sounds good. Zoom in on this a little bit. Look how beautiful that is. I've always been a fan of John Deere. Growing up, you know, we've had a dealership a couple miles from the house. And we've always used to go over there on the weekends and stuff and sit in the tractors and always been a, fan, a fan of John Deere um, operated a few tractors over the years myself but um, definitely a big fan of John Deere so you're gonna see a lot of that with my farm on this game here um, beautiful pick that planter up don't get in the trees yeah it's not gonna be perfect see I missed a little bit there trying to do this outside of the cab kind of but I do a lot of planting myself on this I don't usually hire a hand for that just because they seem to either mess it up go in a ditch or something like that so I normally just do it myself it's a lot easier um, doing it myself so but yeah so This is going to be a short video, just basically me planting these two fields. Um, like I said, it's it's nothing crazy, but I want to record the kind of planting. Um, getting better at it, doing more stuff like that. Um, you got to let me know what you guys want to see. I mean, I can haul grain, I can do a video of me hauling grain, um, going through town. I already did that with the liquid fertilizer, but I can show that again. Um, kind of did a farm tour on my first video. Um, yeah, it's a pretty rusty video, no music or nothing, just me floating around, basically showing you what I have. I did some upgrades to the farm since then. Um, I did some more fencing, some stuff like that, that I thought wasn't needed. But, um, getting better with editing as well. That's something that, you know, I've never been a real computer nerd, so getting all this done and and trying to do it and make it look somewhat decent so you guys can enjoy it is, is something I'm trying to do here. Um, it's not always going to work out, but I'm getting better at it. Over maybe next year or so, I'll be a professional at it. But definitely, definitely love Farm Sim. I've been playing Farm Sim for a while. Uh, ever since basically it come out, I've been playing it, you know. Now I got this fancy PC that I got from Best Buy and, you know, spent quite a bit of money on it. And I got two monitors here and I figured, you know what, I'm going to get a little bit more. And, I, you know, I would post pictures on the groups and people seem to really 
like what I was doing, you know, how I did the farms and did it myself. And so I had a couple people message me and say, hey, you should record videos of you farming on here. I think people would enjoy it. And so I'm like, you know what? Ever Actually, honestly, ever since then, I've been doing it. So positive feedback kind of got me motivated in doing it. And I watch a few other guys on here um, that do these kind of farming videos online and stuff like that. I don't get too much into it, but I just play a lot. I mean, a lot of downtime if I'm not at the gym or hunting or something like that. I'm, I'm usually on here, so I always love farming. Growing up in a farm, you know, it's kind of like how that goes. So being in a farming community, I mean, I'm living on a farm right now renting from them and all that good stuff so yeah farming's been big in my life i've been always fascinated with it and stuff like that i want to get more involved in it in the real life but right now it is february in real time and there's not a whole lot to do so this is when i spend most time on this game which i'll still upload throughout the summer and stuff it just won't be as much maybe i'm hoping to do at least twice a week here we're gonna fast forward we're in october right now on this game um, we're going to fast forward because winter's not going to be a whole lot. I'm going to haul more grain, and then that's really it, to be honest. I mean, I don't have cattle. I won't be getting cattle for a while, so not a whole lot going on right now. Um, but it's going to be epic once it gets going here. Um, we're going to get cows. We're going to go to the town, pick up them. I got a cattle trailer. Um, I'm going to take the Kenworth down there, and maybe we'll do that at night so you can see all the all the lights up on there and all the details that that guy put in that truck making that mod that's by far my favorite truck but you'll see the farm grow you know you'll see it um we'll do a lot of planting coming up here um like i said we got corn to plant we have soybeans coming up here in the spring you'll see a lot of that fertilizer all that stuff off you know it'll be quite a bit i'll do a lot of time lapse on it because I don't know about you guys, but I don't know how much of that you really want to see. That'd be an hour or so long YouTube video, so. But, yeah, this is this is pretty cool, though. Yeah, we're almost done. Um, only a couple minutes into planting here, really. Um, <laughs> this wasn't much, but this is enough for us to basically get our small squares um, we're going to need that for our mixed ratio and our tmr um, we have some hay bales but we're going to do a lot more of them as well we have some grass behind some of our sheds and our silos um, so we're going to be doing a lot of baling there's going to be some videos of that coming up um, that'll be done as well um, small squares round bales you name it we're going to be doing it kind of show you how some of the bigger steps that we do I mean, you know like me hauling green I don't think is, is that exciting I think it's fun but to record it and edit it and all that just doing that I don't know how you guys want to see that or not but if you do let me know and I'll record anything so but no this this map is pretty cool um, I'm definitely in love with this map I've been playing on West B, Wisconsin I've got probably Oh, I got a, a lot of hours on that map. Done a lot of detailed stuff on that map myself. It's night and day difference between what the creator made and what I have done to it. Um, played a lot on that map, and and I pretty much own all the fields, and now I'm just at this point. Obviously, I've been waiting for this map to come out, so this was pretty much my goal on recording and making my own video. I'm like, yep, as soon as this map comes out, that's when I'm going to start it, so... And that's what I did. So, um, but any changes that I'll do or anything I'll do off camera, I will probably catch up on it when I record. Um, but you're gonna see me right now. It's October. You can see in the top right. You're just gonna probably advance to springtime here next time you guys see this video. We'll see unless I figure something else out. But there's not gonna be a whole lot of doing. I could do some plowing too. Um, snow plowing. Um, I do have a truck set up for that, and I have a couple of trucks set up for that, actually. Um, I don't know if you guys would want to see that or not, but sometimes I get frustrated with it because you plow, and the next thing you know, it's already back. But All right, well, that finishes up planting for this fall, first week. 
we are done. Our winter wheat is in the ground. It is going to be growing. We're going to get some fucking stuff done to it. call it a day so we're going to take this planter back um, and we're going to park it and then park the tractor and then I'll show you what I have for the other planter the Case IH planter um, that we're going to be using this spring for a lot of our planting um, so those, there's the plow truck right there that's the bigger truck the other one's just a regular pickup with a plow but that truck will be doing most of the plowing and then we have attachment for our skid steer as well but all right let's park the planter next to the corn head here um we don't restore this one in the shed i don't use it a whole lot because we don't only plant wheat really i mean the biggest crops for me on this farm is going to be soybeans and corn corn is going to produce our silage and then our soybeans going to produce basically stuff for us to take to the market, um, as well as some corn. Um, we're not going to do all silage. We have quite a bit of fields that we bought, um, so they won't all be um, for cows, but most of it will be. That's kind of our operation here. It's going to be just dairy, but we still want to make money, um, so we got to plant fields and harvest them. So we want more equipment. You know, right now we have 259,000 um, that went up because I just took a load of oats in. We got quite a bit of money for that. So, all right, shut the doors on our shed. And that's it. Now we're going to wrap it up right here. Um, could show you the planter, I guess. I guess we'll do that quick. I'm going to go show you the Case H planter. I did say I was going to show you that. So, kind of show you what we're going to be playing with, planting with the. Uh, Coming up, so playing, planting, whatever. Leave this run because I gotta take that back. So we're gonna walk in the door, be realistic. So there's the sprayer. A couple more tractors. I got the 8400R in here. Um, I love that tractor, by the way. We got a big John Deere in here. We use this for basically our tillage, plowing. Um, basically, that's all this gets used for. Um, but here's our planter. This thing is advanced as it could be. It's got every bell and whistle you can think of. Very nice planter. Um, it's 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 awesome. I actually want to get another one of them, especially if we get more acres. We're gonna have to have two planters probably. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Being I used the other planter in this episode, so but we'll get to see this. Um, it's gonna be hooked up behind the John Deere. Um, maybe, maybe I'll surprise you. But it's going to be a more or less a John Deere farm. But all right, well, thanks for watching. Um, definitely going to be a lot more videos coming out. 